Bernie Sanders is obviously a die-hard progressive going out there telling us how we change our country for the better. This obviously scares the establishment because Bernie Sanders isn't trying to censor himself here. He straight up says it. We need to redistribute the wealth into the hands of the middle class. Bernie is going to make the establishment, that means the billionaire class and these huge corporations and those who do their dirty work, he's going to make them pay their fair share. Naturally, the establishment is scared because they want to keep their greedy grip on our economy. And of course, the establishment owns the mainstream media, Fox News, MSNBC. Y'all know where the fools are. So sit back and enjoy this beautiful compilation of the establishment cowering in fear of Bernie Sanders. Talking about this for several weeks now, about how Sanders is drawing bigger crowds. How do you see this dynamic playing out? Bernie Sanders pl playing to the left in the party and what it's doing to, to the Clinton candidate. Well, there is and always has been a university crowd left uh, in this country, a progressive element uh, at our many fine universities. And he's playing to that element. But that element is not big. It's not even big within the Democratic Party. Uh, party. He does not get the working class. He does not get the suburban voter. He does not, by and large, get African American Latino voters. So there's a huge ceiling on what he can do. Uh, and for Hillary Clinton to be fearing him strikes me as wrong-headed. She's still the overwhelming favorite, no matter how big a crowd he can get in in university towns. Bernie Sanders is doing quite well in the polls, and I guess we're wondering. Uh, we know you're ready for Hillary. Do you think there's any concern there? No, I, I think the media is giving Bernie a pass right now. I very rarely read in any coverage of Bernie that he's a socialist. I think everybody wants a fight, and I think they are not really giving the same scrutiny to Bernie Sanders that they're giving to certainly Hillary Clinton and the other candidates. So uh, she's going to win this, and uh, as soon as I think they begin treating him like a serious candidate instead of, oh my gosh, it's so great, we've got a fight in the Democratic Party, I think it will become very clear. Any other candidate that had the numbers that Hillary Clinton had right now yeah. um, would be, um, you know, talked about as absolutely untouchable, and all of a sudden, oh, Bernie, Bernie, right. Bernie. I think it's, um, uh, uh, I think Bernie is too liberal uh, to gather enough votes in this country to become president, and I think Hillary Clinton is going to be a fantastic Fantastic president. I have to say, Joe, mm -hmm. when Claire said Bernie, 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 like Marsha, 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 yeah. she had me. She had me at that. Well, he is a socialist. He, 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 he is a socialist. He's gotten a pass on the I fact he's a socialist. At the yeah. same time, though, I think a lot of the people that are, I mean, most everybody that's going he's to the crowds message. cheering for him knows that he's a socialist. But this does happen, though. And, uh, you know, and, and, and uh, Senator, this is what I always complain about in Republican primaries. You get uh, some of the more extreme candidates get out there, and those are the only people that the press want to report on because it's the most fascinating massive crowds. person to report about. They draw crowds because they're saying things that nobody else uh, will say, and yet at the same time, they're not going to be there at the end of the day. Businessman who decided to be a politician. Business teaches you to speak your mind. Politics tell you to do the opposite. In business, you sell a product. In politics, you sell yourself, which is why Bernie Sanders is a good politician. It's all he does. He's been running for office since 1972, affording him the luxury of selling a failed ideology that never requires purchase. Socialism, a harmless thing until it finds real power, then it's deadly. For if he could, Bernie would gladly turn us into Greece, or worse, Venezuela, where toilet paper rolls are emptier than Athens ATMs. This dope once adored the Sandinistas, a toxic bunch of commies. Sanders is so nutty, most kids should be allergic to him. So why does the media overlook this? The press loves the guy because they assume his bad ideas may never see the light of day, but one can dream. He wants to raise the tax rate for top earners to more than 50 percent, the highest in 30 years, after the worst recovery in history. His goal is not to get America back on its feet, but to put it under for good. He wants free tuition for colleges, a great idea if you think money grows on bongs. He said he'd hire Paul Krugman for his can cabinet, which is like hiring Jeffrey Dahmer as your chef. Ah. He applauded Greece's no vote, which is like applauding two lovers as they jump off a tall building, which really is socialism, a leap. That always ends badly. Inevitably, you just run out of cash, just like you run out of distance between roof and sidewalk. Feel the burn, ladies and gentlemen. No, no, see, this is great. This is awesome. This is...
This is a sign of great things to come. There's a great quote by Gandhi. First they ignore you, then they laugh at you, then they fight you, and then you win. And that's what they're doing right now. At, at, at first they were ignoring Bernie Sanders. They ignored his presidential campaign. They wouldn't give him any press coverage. Now they're giving him all the press coverage in the world. And they're taking advantage of him by laughing at him. Shoving him under the bus. Just throwing him off. Writing him off. And then pretty soon, as his poll numbers keep skyrocketing, they're going to start vehemently fighting him. They're going to start automatically taking every single thing he does into question. Taking all the things he did in the past into question. Throwing all these low blows. And then Bernie Sanders is going to win. Because his message will resonate with regular people. And this is awesome. And as they're fighting him, as they're laughing at him, and when he's winning, we need to enjoy every single minute of it. Because right now, the establishment is scared of Bernie Sanders.